Hey guys, so we are starting out this look with some tape along the edges of the eyes and then I'm going in with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to basically conceal and act as an eye base. I've been using this lately as my eye primer and I'm loving it. Then we're dipping into the Morphe 35P palette and I'm first taking this like whitish bone shade on my Sigma F06 and I'm just setting my lids. Then I'm taking this transition-y kind of shade, it's like a really light brown and I'm just starting to apply that very lightly into the crease on an E40 brush and then I'm slowly going in with more product just to build up that colour intensity in the crease. Then to start building up the purple, I'm taking this super deep eggplanty purple shade on an E25 brush and I'm starting to kind of blend that into the outer corner and then I'm bringing it into the inner corner and basically trying to pack that shade on and then blend it through the crease and sort of meet it together if that makes any sense but I'm leaving the middle of the eye bare. So yeah, basically just blending that into the crease and in the inner and outer corners. Then I'm taking this purple shade, it's kind of got a sheen to it but it's not really shimmery but it's much more vibrant and sort of, I don't know, iridescent-y. And I'm using an E43 domed brush just to sort of pack this on a little bit more. This brush is great because it actually packs it but it also blends it so I'm just doing the exact same steps. And then I'm taking that deep purple once again on the same E43. And I'm just starting to like sort of build up the intensity I guess and yeah I do a lot of this building up and blending and building up and blending. So then once again I'm going in with the E25 brush and just making sure the edges are super blended. Then for the glitter I'm taking the Stila Magnificent Metals Liquid Eyeshadow in Bronzed Bell and I'm starting by packing that onto the center of the lid. Then I'm taking an E58 brush and I'm just really lightly packing the ed patting, sorry, the edges just to like blend it out ever so slightly without blending away too much of the shimmer. Then I'm taking the matte black from the palette and I'm just using an E75 and I'm just really lightly kind of lining my lash line so that my eyelashes blend in. And then I took an E36 brush with no additional product and I just sort of blended a little bit. And then I took a makeup wipe and made sure I got away any fallout and then tight lined my eyes using my Rimmel Scandalized Coal in black. And then I just ran this on top of my upper lash line as well. Then I just coated my lashes with a coat of their Real Mascara from Benefit. And the falsies I used are the Klepke Lashes in style Mykonos. And I absolutely adore these lashes. They're not too thick and fluffy to where they like cover your entire eye, but they're still nice and thick and fluffy enough. Then moving on to the face, I'm priming using Tarte Clean Slate Brightening Primer, which I love. And I'm just massaging that into my skin. And then for foundation, I'm using the Dior Ever foundation and I'm just going to blend that in using my damp beauty blender so I went over with one layer of the foundation um, over my skin and then I took a little bit more on my beauty blender and just added it to my cheeks and my chin and just where I needed a little bit more coverage and it gave me the nicest full coverage ever then to cream contour, I'm using this Nude Sticks Nudies stick. It's in the shade Deep Maple A. Eh? Eh? I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, but it is very, very warm toned as you can see, but it actually worked. I was a bit nervous. I didn't think it would, but I was pleasantly surprised and it blended out absolutely beautifully with my 3D HD Max Kabuki from Sigma. So yeah, I do love this brush for cream contour blending. For concealer, I'm taking my Holy Grail Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one is in the shade Light Sand and I'm just applying it down the center of my face and underneath my eyes. And this acts as a little bit of a highlight too because it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone so it helps give my face a bit of dimension. So yeah, I'm just blending that out with my Beauty Blender. Then taking Benefit Hello Flawless 
pressed powder in the shade Ivory. I am setting all of those concealed areas. So I'm using an F35 brush, which is one of my favorite brushes for setting my concealer. And yeah, I just buffed all of that in and I took a little bit underneath where my contour is as well to make it stand out. Then to powder contour, I'm taking my Inglot palette and I'm taking, I think this one's the shade 505, um, but they'll all be listed down below. But I'm just basically carving out my cheeks a little bit and taking that around my hairline. And then I'm bronzing using another shade, which is more of like a warm toned bronzer. Um, so I'm just taking that a little bit over the top and then just bringing it around the perimeters, down the sides of my nose and under my bottom lip. And then I just took my beauty blender again and made sure that was all super blended. Then for blush, I'm taking Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, which is an oldie but a goodie. And I'm using an F15 Duo Fiber Brush just to buff this onto my cheeks. And then I'm taking this highlight from my Inglot palette and I think it's in the shade 153 but again it'll be down below and I'm using this big fan brush uh, just to apply it all over my face. And then to finish off the face I just set everything with the Algenist Splash setting spray. And then moving on to the under eyes, I'm taking that burgundy eggplanty kind of colour on an E20 brush and just smudging it underneath. And then I'm taking that lighter purple on my E25 and buffing that kind of messily and blending at the same time. So just repeating obviously the same step on the other eye as well. Then I'm taking the black from the palette on another E20, or it's probably the same one actually. Um, and I'm just smudging that into my lower lash line and then lining my waterline with my black liner. And then I just took my E20 brush and I sort of just smudged the eyeliner into my lashes just to make sure it was all like super smoky. And then I took the Stila Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow again on my E58 brush and I just applied it to the very center of the lower lash line to kind of mimic the halo eye effect. And then I just took my E25 and made sure all of the edges were super duper blended. Then I just took the same highlight I used on my face and just highlighted my inner corners but I did go over with this super light shimmery lilac shade from the palette and I just applied a tiny bit of that over the top just to blend in with the whole purple effect. And then I just finished off the eyes with some lower lash mascara. And then moving on to the lips, I lined my lips using this Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in the shade East End Snob. And then I filled them in using the Stila Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bachi, I think is how you pronounce it. Which is this gorgeous mauve pink shade, which I love. And that finished off the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it because I love this look so much. And I will see you all in my next video.